Hey guys, this is Chris from Fright Fights Podcast. Here once again with you all, going to be doing the 100 Horror Movie Challenge, where basically I have a poster on my wall that is like a lottery scratch-off type deal with uh, movie posters hidden underneath them. I'm going to randomly scratch one of those things off. Whatever movie it is, I'm going to watch it, and I'll give you guys a review. So let's head over there and get that movie scratched off. All right, we're at the wall. Last time we landed on Suspiria, and I gave a small little quick review on that one. This time, let's take a look at what we're going to get. And let's do, let's see what we get here. Don't know what this is yet. What is this? The Exorcist. The original Exorcist. All right, there we go, guys. The Exorcist. Well, let me go watch the movie, and I will be right back. All right, guys, just got done watching The Exorcist, the original Exorcist film. And, man, I forget how long that movie is, or at least it feels really long. Um, I still find this movie to be really boring. I like the movie. Don't get me wrong. I like the movie. I just find it to be extremely slow. Even the parts that I enjoy, the buildup to them are just so slow and dramatic that it just it makes the whole movie feel way longer than it actually is. And I know it's a long movie to begin with, but still, like it makes it so much more. Um, my favorite part is still like looking back at it this time around. Used to I used to love the scene where everything is moving around in the bedroom, like all the stuff's flying through, and uh, she's you know uh, she's up on the bed. Linda Blair is up on the bed setting, and Reagan character is making everything just move around the room. The bed's like, she's like hitting the bed with everything. The mom walks in gets knocked across the room. Still love that scene. But I think the, uh, the original exorcism scene is now my favorite one. Watching it this time around, I was more interested and more into that scene where they're performing the exorcism more than any time else that I've watched the movie. Um, like I said, I love that one scene where everything's floating around, though. Um, I watched the version you've never seen before. Um, I think that's, that's what I have on the Blu-ray. And the scene where Reagan, like, spider walks down the stairs, still really cool. I found it a, a bit goofy. I don't know why, but everybody seems to be scared by that scene, and it just comes off really silly to me. I don't, I'm not sure why, but it's, it's still good. It's still fun, but it just comes off not scary. It comes off, like, really silly. Um... The ending of it where the priest falls down the stairs, gets knocked down. Very classic moment. I've always wanted to visit those stairs and do like the reenactment like people do. Um, but I've never never been admit, never had the chance to visit, to visit that. Really love to do that. Uh, but The Exorcist, it's still an all-time classic. I, I don't think it is one of my ultimate favorite ones. Like I, I, It wouldn't make like a top 10 list or anything like that. But it's still a really great movie. It's still... Up in there is like the top 100, probably, yes, obviously. But um, it's not my favorite. It's not really my kind of movie that I like. Um, still a great movie, though. And I just, I really love that exorcism scene. Really, really great. And it was parodied so well in Scary Movie 2. Whenever that opening scene of Scary Movie 2, where they parody The Exorcist, perfect parody. Hilarious. But um, different take. I, I usually rate the movie for The Exorcist. I usually give it uh, about an 8 out of 10. Um, this time going in, even though that I find it a little really slow and boring, I found a couple of other scenes to be a little more interesting this time as far as story goes. And I, I think I'm at like an 8.5, uh, for a rating right now. I know a lot of people give it a nine and 10 out of 10, nine and tens, but, uh, I got to go with an 8.5. Um, but that's the exorcist, the original William, uh, freaking film. So Hope you guys liked my little mini review on this, and hopefully you guys will watch a little bit more of these and see which movies I get a chance to watch again. So, see you guys.